Hi, Angela. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi. What What are you eating? Eh, jocotes. I eating jocotes. Oh, cool. <laughs> jocotes de de azucarón. What is okay? What is the difference between azucarón and corona? I I don't know the difference. It's different for because uh, the azucarón is uh, sweet. De temporada, en la temporada esta, y los de corona en la temporada ya por septiembre, de lluvia, invierno. Ok. Uh -huh. okay. Y son más grandes y se dan, los focotes corona se dan en las partes heladas, como es el volcán de Santana. Ok. De todos lados. Y este, pues, es de lo caliente. Oh, ok. Uh -huh. Y este es, bueno, este es de azucarón, pero de este hay otro que es ácido también, que es el que ocupan para hacer los focotes en miel. Oh, okay, I see. Good. Mm. All right, nice. <laughs> <clears throat> Hold on, please. Okay, teacher. Okay. So let me see. Claudia is eating. What's up, Bert? Hey, good evening, sir. How are you? I'm good, and you? Pretty good, thanks. I mean, it's been a really <laughs> crazy week because we've been working on that stuff. So AI is really interesting, but it's really new for me. I mean, for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. Can you see this? Right, let me check, let me see, let me see. Yes, what is that? This is a circuit, electronic circuit. This is a LED, so I'm testing. This is, with this, uh, I can connect to internet, so I can send uh, any signal or command through the internet. So I can turn off or off the, the LED. So this is really basic uh, project, but I'm learning about. So you can you can receive internet from that. Yeah, oh. th this is it has this chip. You can receive internet now. It's already connected to internet, so I'm sending package through the internet. It's receiving it. Wow. Yeah, this is really good. Wow, it was cool. This is my one of my favorite hobbies. Electronic. I could see. <laughs> you like gadgets and all. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Ronald? How are you? Uh, I'm fine, but I was about to ask about the exercise from, I guess it was yesterday. No, it was the day before yesterday, uh, the 3.5, because I, I was trying to answer that exercise and I didn't get the correct answer. So I asked someone from, from this program and I told her that I needed the answer because the platform was not working. And she said, just leave it like that. So I big help. <laughs> what happens is that sometimes the platform is not working and you can put any answer, even the correct, and it, it won't it won't work. Ah, uh, okay. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like that then. Yeah, don't worry about it. So Okay, let me see, let me open everything. And Claudia's eating. Bert. Bert, what is that in your background? Is that like Canada or? Mm, no idea, just talking about my background. Yes, it's a lake. 
Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's a leak. But I don't. I, I don't know. I just download it from any random page. Oh, okay. But it it looks it looks nice. I like it. Yeah, but it's the opposite, right? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> That's so ironic. Remember that there was an ex-diputado, I think it's, it was Silva or something, he's arrested. It was many years ago. Do you remember him? He was from San Miguel. Yeah, I remember. And yes, and yes, he, that's right. He He's so stupid because he stole so much money and he didn't know what to do with his money. He had a chimney in his house in San Miguel. What? Yeah, I remember it because when they when they went to his house and they started taking everything, he had a chimney in his house and a chimney in the beach house. I think he's the only person in El Salvador who has a chimney and in San Miguel. Mm -hmm. So imagine that, like, in que gasto dinero now? Let's put a chimney. <laughs> chimney is like yeah, the fire, right. the fireplace, right? Yeah, yeah, the chimney. Uh, but but people from San Miguel say that uh, it's cold at night. <laughs> no, it's cold at night. I I have never been to San Miguel. See, long time ago, to... but. If you think 19 degrees is hot, well, you're right. <laughs> because sometimes it's 19 degrees in Decem on December, November, believe it or not, 19 degrees. That mm. is not hot. No, it's not. But if you think it's hot, respect. Mm -hmm. But you see what happens, Ronald, is like what we were talking about here one time, Dick. Um, remember how we're saying that winter and summer? So in El Salvador, we don't have winter. We don't have winter because El Salvador is a tropical, it's a tropical country. So we only have two. We have tropical weather the complete year, but we have two seasons, dry season and wet season. So maybe people tell you in San Miguel it's cold at night. It's not really cold. Osea, it's not hot like normally the day. They mean to say it's not hot. It's not hot. It's, o sea, fresco. <laughs> it's, y ni fresco creo que es, it's just like normal. But but people, you know, people go to the extreme like, no, en la noche se hace frío. No. It's not hot, 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 but still hot, but not like the daytime. Hello, Lisette. I see you there. Hello, teacher. I am. Um, I have a symptom, the flu, and headache, but I am here, teacher. Oh man. Yes. Have you and taken take, medicine? Yes, I take a uh, palagrip. Oh, okay. Okay. Sí. Thank you, teacher. All right, cool. And Jonathan, are you there? Yes, teacher. What's up, Jonathan? How are you? What are you doing? Mm, I, I am here my kitchen <clears throat> and I am busted. You're what? I am starving. <laughs> I am what? I'm sorry. Starving. Oh, okay. Are you cooking something? Yeah. Okay. Did you just get home or what? What? Did you just get home? Why Why are you hungry? It's not dinner time. It's very late. So why are you hungry? Mm. 
because today I I don't have a breakfast. Breakfast. You didn't eat breakfast. Yes. Did you eat lunch? No. I woke up late. Okay. So you have not eaten breakfast and lunch. So today, nothing. Lunch? Jonathan, uh, Jonathan, do you understand my question? Sí. Okay. Solo que me cuesta responder. Okay. No, no problem, no problem. But, uh, como si tú ves, wow, si tú ves, si tú ves mm -hmm. muerto. What? Okay, good. Now, okay, remember class, I told you one, I, I think I told you like two weeks ago, there are three very, very important things in English. Three, comprehension, grammar, and your accent, your fluency. Remember? Y esas tres tienen que ir igual, pero nunca van. So sometimes somebody's very good in grammar, very good in, in pronunciation, but very bad in listening. Or, or vice versa. Somebody's very good in grammar, very good in listening, but very bad in, in speaking because you can't understand. So um, what I recommend to you is that when you don't understand, ask, say, I don't understand because you will be more confused. Imagine it's a job interview. For example, Jonathan, what I asked you was a very, it was a simple, simple past question. Simple past, you know, like, did you eat breakfast today? Did you eat lunch today? Why are you hungry? Why are you eating at this time? You know, le digo por si un día van a una entrevista de inglés. Bert, you have been in interviews, right? Yes. It was really, really tough because I remember that when I entered to Concentric, they were just American. Mm -hmm. uh, but my actual boss is from Venezuela. And uh, other guy from Ecuador. So they understood that I had, I was, I was trying to, I was dealing with, with the, the, the the language problem, but they kind of helped me. They say some work in Spanish, but I was kind of embarrassing because I wasn't able to speak in English because I am supposed to work in English with Americans. Mm -hmm. So it, it was really uh, embarrassing and I was really uh, mm, sad and worried at the same time. Yeah. So what I wanted to mention that something happened today. I was trying to explain to an American because we we were talking about the design of web page to the system. So I I didn't explain myself. Uh, he didn't understand. Said, what was that? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> so I had to explain it again. But I I was kind of block i don't know why but i was maybe nervous or i was worried or maybe thinking something else but i was i mean i understand what and jonathan but it's necessary to be uh, to practice and to listen because sometimes you don't you don't understand something you have to re ask or repeat yes and, yeah. And and yes, when you don't understand, please ask. But I tell you every day, every class, do you understand? Everyone's quiet. Do you have questions? Nobody has questions. And what happens is these are the results. You know, I mean, this is not like um it's not like 
como, I'm sorry, como yo les dije una vez, están aprendiendo esto, no están estudiándolo. A la U pudieron faltar muchos días y se graduaron. But because you are studying, but here you are learning. Yes. For example, um, do you see do you see my chat? I put kiss. Do you see the chat where it says kiss? Do no. Have... Teacher, there is a direct uh, message to me. I think. Oh, yes. It's, it's, yes. I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay. Oops, it was true. Hold on. All right, do you see that? Okay, it says kiss. Right? It says kiss. That means keep it simple and stupid. Why? In this case, Bert, when you explain something and it's difficult for you to explain, keep it simple and stupid. Oh, so stupid really is not very offensive. Um, conste, conste, no estoy diciendo estúpido a nadie de ustedes. Una vez una persona, no sé por qué lo tomó mal y puso queja que lo estaba diciendo stupid. <laughs> y no era así. Estoy diciendo la hora de explicar algo. Cuando, cuando ustedes le explican a un niño, a un bebé, ¿cómo le explican? Remember? Mm, el avión, el avión, el avión. Yes, you are very creative. Y a veces uno se ve tonto. Como... Yes or no? So when you explain something, keep it simple and stupid. Like, remember pupusas? You, oh, yeah, okay. You can say pupusas uh, come from dough. The dough comes from corn, corn that is planted in the fields by the volcano. And you can give a, a very complicated explanation, or you can just give a simple one using your hands and your mouth. Pupusas is like, it's round. It's, it's like this, it's round, and it's like a tortilla. Do you know what a tortilla is? And ask questions. Do you know what tortilla is? Yes, okay. So imagine pork, beans, and cheese inside the tortilla. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, okay, that's a pupusa. You know, don't complicate yourself. Don't, don't, just keep it very simple. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what happened, Bert? So you had to explain two times. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I did because I, I was, we were just uh, four people in the meeting. So I, I was kind of, maybe, I don't know why, but I was really confused. I was, I mean, I was so desperate to explain myself so well. I was so, but I did it wrong. <laughs> it's so, so funny, but at the end of the day, I mean, I just, I was able to explain what I meant. So I was just a simple design. I mean, move something from the bottom to the top. That's it. <laughs> you know, I had to move this, this, uh, from this position to the up. That was everything I was to say, but I just, I mean, I did something. I mean, I messed myself. No, I, yeah, I understand this. It's, it's strange. But next time, think, kiss. Okay, let me explain again, but more simple. Remember what I told you one time? When you go to the doctor or the dentist, ¿Qué tengo dentista? Ah, la pieza superior 7 de arriba va a necesitar un implante de crocinino, bla, bla, bla. And they start speaking like 
this language that you don't understand. And you're what? Yes, yes, okay. So I think doctors should practice kiss. Because when a, when, a, when a doctor explains to me like this, I say, I'm sorry, I don't understand. But I am very sarcastic. I, I said, I'm sorry, no sé cuál es la pieza superior número siete. I don't, I'm sorry. And then the doctor said, okay, let me explain. Yeah, you said ponen ya the kiss mood. Okay, you see your teeth here? Yes. Count. Cuenta siete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Is that tooth we need to take out? And, you know, they start doing the, the simple. <laughs> Yes, and that's a very, very good way to practice English. Try to explain something in the KISS format, not, not, the, not the complicated Wikipedia format. <laughs> All right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay, let me see. Let me open the platform. We did expressions related to sleep, reasons and conditions. Okay, let me share the screen. Do you see the lady? Yes, I see teacher. All right, yes. good. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Let's listen Hello. to the video. Okay. Even if, as long as, unless, our examples of clauses state in reasons and condition, stay with us for the explanation. Clauses state in reasons and conditions. I will group them for you in the following ways. Considering that introduces another clause of reason, as long as, even if, unless, and only if, introduce another clause of condition, just in case, or in case, also introduces another clause of condition. It is used when an undesirable circumstance or condition needs to be taken into account, but the condition is considered very unlikely to happen. Now let's go over the following chart. Clauses stating reasons and conditions. Even if introduces a condition that does not influence the main clause, I sometimes lie awake at night even if I'm really tired. Considering that introduces causes and reasons that explain the main clause. I'm lucky I can get by on six hours of sleep, considering that most people need eight. As long as introduces a condition on which the main clause depends. I can manage on five hours of sleep, as long as I take a nap during the day. Unless introduces something that must happen in order to avoid a consequence. Unless I get a good night's sleep, I can easily fall asleep at school, at work, or even while driving. Just in case, or in case, introduces an undesirable circumstance that needs to be taken into account. I always set two alarm clocks, just in case one of them doesn't go off. Or, I always set two alarm clocks in case one of them doesn't go off. Only if introduces a condition that must be met for the main clause to be true. I only wake up early if I have somewhere to be in the morning. Complete the following. Here, let's practice kiss here. Even if introduces a condition that does not influence. Does not influence. So, let, 
Um, I'm going to use some, maybe some ridiculous examples because there will be an answer. Yes. Um, Claudia Hiron. Do you like Romero, Romero Santos, Romeo Santos? Mm. When I was a child, yes, now, no. Okay, do you like Bad Bunny? No, I don't. Who do you like? I mean, but um, who, do, who like your crush? Who is your crush? I like Enrique Iglesias. Yes. Um, yeah. In English, Bruno Mars. Okay. Hey, what happened to Bruno Mars? I haven't heard music from him. Um, I think uh, he stopped um, his career. Mm. Yeah. He he was a good dancer, but yes. this, so you like you like physically you like um, Enrique Iglesias. Mm, the song. <laughs> okay, who do you like physically? Mm. Your crush, like oh my god. Uh, it was an actor, um, Giancarlo Canella, and okay. there is no an actor anymore, I think. Gian, Gian, okay, Giancarlo's right. Yes. Imagine you see Giancarlo and he says, hi, Claudia, can I kiss you? But you have a boyfriend. Would you kiss him? Mm, I think no, because I'm shy. <laughs> yes. Because you're shy, not because of your boyfriend. <laughs> I'm both. <thing. laughs> okay. So my, or, or you can say this like this, look. Because even if it's a condition that does not influence the main clause. So you say, I would not kiss John Carlos, even if he asked me for a kiss. Okay. Yes? Yes. All right, let me see. Uh, Ronald, do you have a girlfriend? Yes, I do. How long have you been with her? Since 2015. Wow, that's a long time. Would you leave her? Would you leave your girlfriend if Shakira asks you to be her boyfriend? I Remember? don't leave Hmm? I wouldn't leave my girlfriend even if Shakira asked me because I don't like Shakira. Okay, <laughs> but she has money. But I don't like her, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, cool. No, but good. Remember I told you some, some, some examples are going to be ridiculous because we need, a, we need a, an answer. I, I, need, I want you to practice your, your answers. Okay? Yeah, I, that's what I tell my wife. I tell her, I would never leave you even if a Scarlett Jung asks her begs me and cries to marry her, I, I would say no. Ah, but Scarlett Johansson? Yeah, like but my wife doesn't believe me. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Um, Bert. Imagine Mauricio Funes for president. Bert. Imagine Mauricio Funes is going for president again. Would you vote for him? Mm. Well, not really, considering that. Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't. Yeah, I, I mean, would. I, I would. I don't believe that things are gonna happen. No, that's what I'm saying. Remember, it's a ridiculous. It's a ridiculous examples. I mean, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Is is that. Uh, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't vote for Mauricio even, Funes, so, even if even he pays if, me. Even yeah, even no, not really. Uh, by the way, I didn't vote for him when he was for president. I remember that I didn't vote for him. 
I remember that time I, I didn't vote because I didn't care who won. If I didn't I, I in that time, I was so dis disappointed, like, mm. I, I, <laughs> I didn't care. This yeah, last time, right. this last yeah. elections, I did vote. I did vote and um, I'm happy mm -hmm. with my vote. Mm -hmm. But just in case I had to vote for the opposite, if he is a ca candidate to candidate to president. Oh, okay. Postulante? How do you say Adam? I forgot. Contender. You would say contender. Ah, okay. Contender. By the way, Biden, he said he's going to be a contender to be a president, <laughs> the next president. Yeah, that that's very offensive. He should he should be resting in his house. Okay. Next, it says considering that introduces causes and reasons to explain the main clause. Considering that, okay. So listen to this example. I am lucky I can get by on six hours of sleep, considering that most people need eight. Let me give you a perfect example here. Do you have friends in your work? They make the minimum. Me? No, <laughs> just go work here. Yeah, but do you know people that make the minimum salary? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I know many I know many people that make the minimum salary. And one thing I'm always surprised is that they always have money. I mean like you know, every day they buy lunch. Every day they have enough money for the bus. You know how some people don't at the end of the month, some people are asking you, hey, give me five dollars, I'll I'll pay you on payday. You know, people are asking you for money. Oh my God, I don't like talking to myself. Okay, let's continue. My example no, was going to be, I, I, my, my example was going to be, I am amazed of people that make the minimum considering that it's, it's ridiculous, the, the money they make. And they pay house, they pay bills. They pay. I, I, but I think they, they have, they must work together. I mean, the couple, wife and husband, they should work both. Yes. Yes, it's true. Okay. Because I have a question. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, well, my question is. Do you mind working on, on holidays? No, I, I like to work on holidays. Uh, okay, but what about if you were given like an incentive of one dollar? Would you work that day even if you were provided that incentive? Or you wouldn't work like to be like como estar en contra, to be against. Against against that incentive, just to just to get some respect. For one dollar, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, I, I mean you will get uh, paid. You will get the double double paid, but you will be given a incentive of one dollar. Additional yes. one dollar for for working on holidays. Would you still work or would you let them know that you feel not respected? Okay, I, I think I understand your question, but in my case, personally, I would work. Why? Because number one, I am married and I have a family. So if I have vacation, 
I spend a lot of money because we have to go eat to restaurants. You know, vacation is money. Because even if you go to the beach, it's $150 minimum. So if I work, I don't, I have an excuse that, no, I'm sorry, I have to work. That's one reason. And number two, I get paid double, so that's no problem. But if I were single with no responsibilities, only obligation, no, I wouldn't work for that for a dollar incentive, no. That happened to me. One dollar was the incentive? <laughs> One dollar and 25 cents. So that day they paid you double? Plus yes. one dollar and twenty five cents. Yes, but I, I, I would say that I would prefer not being said that. Yes, that, it's, it's that offensive. That's disrespectful. Yes, that's it is disrespectful. I mean, I was going to work anyways, but yeah, exactly. Okay, when I, I was told that, I said, "No, I, I'm not like feeling working tomorrow." Yeah, mejor le hubieran llevado un pan con algo, you know, like. Instead of saying no, uh, people complain about some places uh, where they like buy a pizza for their their employees, yes. but a pizza is better than one dollar and twenty five cents. <laughs> yes, and uh, with uh, Ronald, we work in the same place, and the first day we get we got a um, hot dog too, and the second day pizza, and the third day panini. Yes. As lunch. Yeah, those are incentives. At least, at least he was given food, and I'm I'm going to be given one dollar. One dollar. That that's where I'm sorry. Can I ask where is that? Is that in a call center? <laughs> I wouldn't mention the name because <laughs> I'm not sure if I could get in trouble. But no. you mentioned <laughs> uh, you mentioned <laughs> the place before. Consenting. No, but not, not today, not today. It could be in a different place where I used to work. But concentric <laughs> concentric has money. I I worked I worked in Talos for five years in, in Google. And man, that is a man. <laughs> the, but Google is the best account there as far as I know. Yeah. And because it's like inside the Google. We had bicycles, Nintendo Switch. Um, like we had a permanent Minuta man, permanent ice cream. <laughs> you know, like you just stand it, give me more ice cream on vacations. And, but yeah. Oh man. Arnold <laughs> and Claudia, do you play games in, uh, in your? In your when you're working, no, there is just a ping pong table on the floor. Uh, that I'm saying, yes, because I, every two weeks we play game, video game, we, we connect together one hour, and we um, that for me that's annoying because I don't like playing games, so I have to be there because I have to be politely. <laughs> You know, you know, no. tell us, tell us, well, Google had one thing in tell us. I don't know if, if it was the complete tell us, but I thought it was a very good example. One day a month, they give you, they give you three hours. Because you know how sometimes you need permission, I don't know, or la licencia or... So they said, instead of asking so many permissions, one day a month, you can take one day to leave three hours early. So That's I remember- besides your short day. Yes. So I always took it on my short day, on Friday and my short day, because I remember I used to work from six to five. So my short day was Friday. So at 12, I was out. And especially when Friday was payday. Oh, man. So payday, short day, and the three hours. It was nice. Do you have that in concentrics? No. 
No. We, we got like, well, at least when I, I got the job, I mm -hmm. uh, when, uh, when you turn your, when you get, when you keep working in the first, the first year, you get like five days per year. Oh. And those are called discretionary days. And you oh, can yeah. ask them whenever you want. But as, as I understand, people who are getting hired nowadays, they get just one, one discretionary day. And you get the five when you keep working five years in the company. But when I was hired, it was like five the first year. And now, he, now he is one for, per year. Wow, okay. Oh, okay. Hey, but it's interesting, it's nice. All right, so let's continue. It says, listen, drivers can fall asleep on the highway. If I'm having trouble sleeping, even if it's a beautiful morning, unless they rest before long trips, as long as you have the bosses, okay? Considering that, which one do you think it is? Unless they take a bus before bed. The last one. Okay. okay. Angela, can you tell me what this says here? Can you say in English, in English, uh, in Spanish? Yes, please, in Spanish. Uh, Los conductores pueden quedarse dormidos en una carretera? Mm -hmm. So, en la carretera o en la carretera, yes. Uh -huh. Unless they take a bath before bed? I don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Yes, isn't that correct, right? It's a yes. this. Uh-huh. What what do you think unless is? I I think I think unless is siempre y cuando. Uh-huh. Yes. Al menos al menos que. Al menos que, uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, mm -hmm. es cierto. I, I'm, I'm sorry, siempre y cuando is um as long as I as guess, long as thank you. Cuando. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Al menos thank que. You. So un conductor se puede dormir en la carretera. Al menos que hayan descansado bien antes. Mm -hmm. But now with Teslas, you can fall asleep in the car. Okay, number two. Power nap, power naps at work are a good idea. What do you think is the correct one? As long as you have the boss. Okay. As long as you have the boss is okay. Some people can't just go to sleep. Unless they take a bath before bed. Before bed, okay, good. I was surprisingly alert at work. Considering that I didn't sleep at all last night. It's like um, like yeah. when you when you go to a concert. When you go yeah. to a, imagine you go to a concert tonight and the concert finishes at one in the morning. And you go to your house, but tomorrow you have to work. And you say, oh, my God, tomorrow's going to be a terrible day. But I know, you know, like, hey, <laughs> surprisingly, I was alert at work. Considering that I went to a concert last night. Okay, number five, night owls hate to wake up early. Even if it is a beautiful morning. Good. Do you know what is a night owl? Creo que son búhos. Sí, pero se le dice así a las personas que le gusta estar despierta en la noche. Ah, ok. Así le dicen night owls. 
I only drink hot milk before bed. If I'm having trouble sleeping. Okay, good. Let's watch the next video. Do you ever take naps during the day? Compare your answers in class with your teacher and classmates. Oh yeah, it was a video we just saw. <laughs> Hi, what are your sleeping habits? We'll teach you some expressions about sleep. Expressions related to sleep. Be fast asleep. We, we did that, I'm sorry. Oh, listening exercise. Okay, let's listen to this. Listen to Kate and Sergio talk about their recurring dreams. Whose dream do you think is scarier? Hey, Sergio, do you ever have recurring dreams? Yeah, sure. Why, Kate? Well, I had one last night. I'm back in high school, and in my dream, the school looks mostly the same as it did, but much bigger. The weird thing is, although I'm 23 years old, I'm back in high school with all these 15-year-olds. It's very embarrassing. No one seems to notice that I'm much older and shouldn't be there in the first place. But still, it's very uncomfortable. I keep thinking, what am I doing here? Well, I know it must be the end of the school year because everyone is talking about final exams. And that's when it hits me that I've forgotten to go to math class all year. And there's a big math test today. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I'm totally unprepared. So I start to go to class, but then I realize I can't find it. No matter how far, how many hallways, I just can't find it. I know I'm late for class, and this really worries me. Finally, I wind up in my math class, but it's almost over. So I've missed most of the test, and I think I'm going to fail or something. Basically, that's the dream. That's a bad one. Do you have that dream a lot? Sometimes. I guess it means that I'm worried or overwhelmed about something that is happening in my life. Yeah, I sometimes have this bad dream. I guess it's really a nightmare. I'm in danger, but I'm not sure from what, and I can't move or scream or anything. I can feel something coming closer and closer to me. You know, it's really strange, because usually in the dream, I'm exactly where I am in real life, like in my own bed, in my bedroom, and everything is very realistic. The only part that is dreamlike is that I can't move. Sometimes I can't even open my eyes, or I can only open one eye. Usually I have to alert someone or possibly save someone, although the person often changes. Anyway, I can't do anything because I can't move. It's really terrifying. Yeah, it sounds terrifying. So, what do you think it means? I'm not sure, but you know, I think the dream means that I'm feeling there's something in my life that I can't control, although I feel like I should be able to. Once I had the dream when one of my friends was very sick, and I just felt completely helpless. I hate feeling that way. Yeah, I know what you mean. Can you imagine I can only open one eye? That's scary. Whose dream do you think is scarier? The second one, by far, is the worst feeling ever. Okay. Do you remember the name? The Nightmare. Sergio. Ah, uh, no, I was answering the, the first question. Hmm. 
the one back, above. Back in high school, has to take a test and is not prepared for it, Kate. Feeling overwhelmed or worried about something, Kate. There is something in life that cannot be controlled, but should be able to, Sergio. All right. Let's do the reading exercise. Let me see. Claudia, can you hold on? How many paragraphs are here? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, Claudia, can you please read the first paragraph? And when you finish, you choose the next victim. Okay. In the days before electricity, people didn't uh, worry much about sleep. They usually went to bed a couple hours uh, after sunset and woke uh, at sunrise. After all, um, there wasn't much to do in those days after the sun went down, but then came to came the, electro, the electric light bulb. And now we have um, sat satellic, a satellite uh, television, the internet uh, 24 hours, convenience stores and longer hours at work. How much can we sleep? How much should we sleep? Um, okay, one thing. Did you understand everything here, class? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so that happened here too, huh? Imagine before the electricity and everything, people went to bed when the sun went down. My, my grandmother uh, usually take, uh, take dinner at 5 p.m. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. And she goes to bed at seven. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And now with internet and the cable and TV and this and that. Wh which is that religion that they can't work after the sunset? I know the seven days church, but they happen on Friday when the, the sun sets. Oh, that's when you give your back to the sun, correct? Yes. Oh, I, yeah, I think it was. I remember in, tel, in Google, we had a very, very, very problematic girl because of that. Because um, after... Okay, you know, you know, you know how call centers, I mean, your space, your cubicles, your computer is only yours. But she always has to be moved certain days because she has to turn her back to the sun. And I don't know, but she had many rules. Que al final ella ponía las reglas, no trabajo. Entonces, um, you know, and, and um, Google, they, they tried, they tried, you know, to, to accommodate her. But then they said, no, no, I mean, yeah, bye. <laughs> Was she fired? Yes. But, um, but I, I think Talos did the correct thing because they talked to her, they gave her warnings, and then they told her, look, you have to understand that we're compliance we can't move you in the morning here. Porque le habían dicho, okay, what about if you stay here permanently? And she says, no. Porque tenía que trabajar siempre en contra del sol. Aunque no mirábamos sol en el call center, pero. <laughs> Ella decía, no, pero igual es que el sol está fuera. Oh, like, oh my God, she was complicated. And how old was she? Was she in her 20s? Early 20s, yes. And, but, you know, 
Google and, and Telus, they really, they really tried to help her, you know, because they respected it, it was a religion. But then, um, no, it was not a religion, it was a sect <laughs> or something because it, it was too complicated. It, it was, it was, it was very complicated. All right, next, Claudia, choose the next person, please. Angela. All right, Angela. Okay. Um, like, like you or not, many of Jews are sleeping less on average in the 1910. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, Angela. Hello. Hi. Procure leer también las comas y puntos. Okay, okay. Okay. Like, like, your, uh -huh. like it or not, many of yes. us are sleeping less on average. In 1910, most Americans slept nine hours a night. That dropped to uh, seven. Como leo el punto. <laughs> 7.5 hours by 7.5 by eight hours by 1970 in 20 20 or zero two I started by the national slip and found the foundation found that the average American got only 6.19 hours. The Nine. news is, yes, or the news is even worse for people who work the night shift. They slept an average of just five hours. Are we sleeping? It's no. Are we sleeping at no? No, this you will believe. Uh, I'm sorry, just the okay. second paragraph only, okay? So okay. can you imagine before people used to sleep nine hours and then 45 years ago, seven hours, and now people are sleeping an average of seven hours. How many hours do you sleep? Nine hours. 6.30 minutes. Or seven. Really? Five, um, five, five hours. Five Between hours. five hours. Between five and seven. Man. Wow. That's. Yeah. I think I sleep like seven or eight hours because I go to bed like at nine or ten. And I wake up at six. So. But I have no problem sleeping. Oh, okay. <laughs> that that's one thing I love about myself because I just go and <sighs> I can sleep forever. Okay, thank you, Angela. Can can you choose somebody, please? Uh, um, Ronald, maybe. Ronald, 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 Ronald. Okay. Meanwhile, other scientists and pharmaceutical researchers are searching for new ways to keep us awake longer. Some are developing chemicals that are safer and more powerful than caffeine. The medical, the chemical found in coffee and tea, ah, uh, than caffeine, the chemical found in coffee and tea. One experimental drug, CX717, Kept laboratory monkeys working happily, healthy, healthily, and accurately for 36 hours. Future breakthroughs may allow people to safely stay away for several days straight. For several days straight, one group of researchers is studying a gene found in some fruit, fruit, fruit flies, fruit flies. See fruit flies. 
that lets them get by on one third the usual amount of sleep. Another group is even working on an electric switch that instantly wakes up a sleeping brain. I had a friend a long time ago that um, I forgot what this was called, that he can be talking to you and then he's talking to you, like, look at me, like he's talking to you. And, like, and he wakes up and he continues talking. Al principio, pensábamos que hey, se desvela, pero no. O sea, the poor man was sick. But you know what the problem was? He had, he had a very high cholesterol. So what the doctor told him that in his veins, that's venous, they were full of sebo, of, of like, you know, that's what cholesterol is. So that makes, that makes the blood circulate very slow because the veins are full of, um, of grease, the grasa. So then his blood doesn't get to his brain. <clears throat> That's why he was like, you know, uh, I remember him for that. And, and <laughs> de hecho, yo tengo una freidora de aire y solo uso aceite olivo porque I remember, I always remember him. Like, uh, I use a spray. Oh, you uh, use the oil spray? Yes, the canola canola spray, I guess. But it's, it's expensive, like, no? It's like six dollars. Mm -hmm. But it's just for me, so I've been oh, okay. using it over three months and I still have it. That's just for me. Can you make an egg with that? Yes, just you just have to spray it one second, I guess, and you get it. You get it done just with one one spray of one second. I always forgetting. I want to buy that for the for the fryer, la freidora. That's a good idea. Okay, uh, class. I will see you Monday. Okay. Les voy, a, les, voy, les voy a dar un tip. Les voy a dar un tip. ¿Se acuerdan que creo que la primer clase yo les dije una vez de que de que procuren leer cuentos de niños? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, watch. Y este es un ejemplo. Este es un ejemplo. Y Angela fue muy Angela fue muy buen ejemplo acá porque me acuerdo que Angela empezó a leer así. In the days before electricity, people didn't worry about sleep. Yo le dije, Angela, puede leer las comas y todo. Y la segunda vez lo leyó mucho mejor. Thank you, teacher. Ah, ah, ahora imagínense la tercera, cuarta o quinta vez. Y ahí es cuando van practicando fluidez. Okay. Ahora Thank imagínense. You. Yeah. So, ¿Ustedes van a, vuelven a leer esto? Pero lo que les digo es que lean cuentos de niños porque es más fácil. Las palabras son más fácil, el, la historia es fácil de entender, pero ustedes lo que no quieren es entender, lo que quieren es practicar y van a practicar con algo fácil. Y como cuando aprenden a manejar, los meten primero en las calles de donde no hay carros, ya después los tiran al highway, a la autopista. Sí. Pero entonces eso hagan. Por ejemplo, aquí dice: In the days before electricity, People didn't work much about sleep. Worry. Okay, now another is in the days before electricity, people mm -hmm. didn't worry much about sleep. So again, in the days before electricity, people didn't worry much about sleep. Basta que boom, boom, boom. I promise you your fluency up. Okay, class, I will see you Monday. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Happy weekend. You too. Thank you, Angela. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, people.